Hi everyone, welcome to the video. Today I'll be talking about uh, Logic and Ableton. I'll be comparing some features and aspects between these two DAWs. Um, I've been using Logic for a few years now and recently I have been working a little bit with Ableton. Working with these two different DAWs made me realize that not all DAWs are the same and some DAWs um, focus on some aspects more than others and create some features that would make them uh, better and promote their program a lot more than other uh, companies. So let's tune in the video and see why and which DAW I prefer. So to start off, as you can see, I have Ableton pulled up. Um, the first time you open Ableton, you have this view, which is the session view. When I first saw it, I thought that the boxes on top are like just the channel strip, so you can just start loading in plugins and such. But this feature is actually is called the um, a loop, so you can have your own loop um, and live recordings looping over, whether they were audio recordings or MIDI. Um, this feature really helps people who work a lot with live instruments and live recordings. Um, even though Logic does somewhat have the same feature, but it's not as good as Ableton's. I prefer Ableton's because the layout is um, a lot simpler and it allows me to have a faster workflow compared to Logic's layout. And that's for me is somewhat a game changer. My biggest issue that I have with that kind of layout for Ableton is that p having the session uh, view popping out at first can be somewhat confusing for the people who just started using uh, Ableton. Where on the other hand, with Logic, it's a whole different section. So for me, it took me some time to realize that there is a difference between the session view and the arrangement view. For me, one of the things that I love about Ableton is the workflow and how everything is laid out to allow you to have a fast workflow. When I started using the MIDI in Ableton, I realized that everything is laid out in front of you. You do not need to start clicking on a lot of buttons to reach from point A to B in a very simple and quick way. Well, for me, this is just a game changer. I have everything laid down in front of me. I don't need to go through tabs to put in a function or a feature. For example, changing the velocity of each MIDI note. Um, I don't need to press on each note individually and then go to a slider and on the side of uh, the MIDI map. Well, in, in Ableton, under each note, there is a slider to change the velocities separately this for me stuff like this the simple stuff like this honestly do make a huge difference when it comes to a workflow things like this to show you that how manipulating midi and also audio tracks in ableton is really um fast and straightforward um another thing that ableton is is well known or is the um, stock synths. The synths that come with Ableton are just amazing. You can you can shape things differently. Um, it's simple and they just sound amazing. Um, for me, they are way better than the synths that come with um, Logic. But some of the things that I like in Logic, for example, are the stock plugins as well as the uh, stock instruments. For me, um, when it comes to stock plugins, I believe that Logic has the best sound, um, uh, stock plugins as well as stock instruments out of most of the major DAWs. Um, for me, this just helps people who are just starting to get into um, music production and mixing and mastering to, uh, to invest more time working on, um, on learning the craft rather than spending a lot of money on uh, plugins. When it comes also to layouts, I just love that you can have a mixture of view and logic. I can see all the plugins and all the channel strips. When it comes to Ableton, I can just view each channel strip individually. 
for me as a mix engineer, this just is is a, is very important. Um, I love the fact that Ableton has this um this thing with all the stock plugins that you can view the actual plugin rather than pressing on or clicking on it and like. For me, this is this is really good, but for third party plugins, it it just doesn't work. And a lot of the times, I use um, third party plugins on Ableton. Um, this personally annoys me a lot. I wish that um, they could figure this out. If they already have a session view and an arrangement view, maybe have a, a mixer view. Having a mixer view or being able to see all the channel strips at once is something that will help people have a faster workflow, which I believe is something Ableton is well known for. Another feature that I love about Ableton is that you can group tracks that are already in a group. This is very helpful when it comes to like mixing drums, for example, you can group all the drums together and then inside of that group, you can group the hi-hats or the toms. This does help you have a uh, more compact and fast workflow. Another thing that I love about Logic is that I feel that it's more user-friendly compared to Ableton. I'm not saying that Ableton is complicated, but if I'm comparing between Logic and Ableton, some aspects in, uh, in Logic are just more user-friendly. So overall, these were the stuff that I liked between um, both DAWs. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new from it. Thank you.